So in this short video, I want to talk about an interesting platform, a very useful platform that I only learned about. It's completely free and it will help you explore your literature in many interesting ways. So firstly, it will generate summaries. It will enable you to ask questions about dif uh, difficult texts or articles. And most importantly, it will generate or turn any academic article or any text into a podcast. So this tool is called Notebook LM. Like I said, I only learned about it. My daughter is actually using it. That's how I learned about it. I already recorded another video about it when I talked about turning your supervision notes or your supervision transcripts into actionable insights, because that's what you can use it uh, for as well. So do have a look at this video if you haven't watched it. But here I want to just talk about these other functions. So like I said, this tool will help you explore the literature. Nothing new. I've already reviewed a couple of similar tools. I talked, for example, about UPDF, which is brilliant and I still use it. It's just my software for opening PDFs and I can also interact with these texts. This one, however, is online, is, is based fully online. And at the time of recording this video is also free, which is very important, especially if you're a student. You don't want to uh, pay a fortune for every single useful software that's being presented to you. So as you can see on my screen, what happens once you upload uh, a certain text, uh, which I will assume here to be a difficult or boring uh, academic article, it will give you a summary, a summary of the article. The first thing you want to know is what the article is about. Then you have certain questions. It gives you questions that you can ask. So some some general default questions or you can just interact with it and you can ask your own questions. You can ask if it's an empirical article. You can ask about the methods, the findings, the definitions in that article, anything you want. But the thing that really grabbed my attention is, of course, the feature to turn that article or anything that you upload into the software into a podcast, into an actual podcast. So before you say that it's silly and it's weird to be listening to podcasts instead of reading academic articles, uh, I would have to disagree with this. Uh, there are many uh, circumstances in which it may simply make sense. There are plenty of different types of learners. There are people who are dyslectic, for example, for whom it's also much better and easier to diversify the, the type of input, which also includes my daughter. And that's how I learned about it. Uh, and there are just different preferences and styles. Some people just like listening to podcasts. They love podcasts. So uh, rather than wasting their time listening to some other podcasts or maybe scrolling through Facebook and other social media, you can actually turn this article, maybe something you're not sure about. You're not sure if you want to read this article in the first place. You can turn it into the podcast, then uh, play it and listen, listen to it as you're driving or jogging or or going to the gym or doing anything else. And then eventually, of course, it's your decision. You may come back, you can actually read this article, but it's a good starting point at the very least, even for those of us who are in academia, who are studying or researching, uh, not to mention people who are simply not. So maybe uh, students for whom it's not that important to be uh, reading hundreds and hundreds of these dry and boring academic articles. Uh, again, it's just a, a nice additional way in which they can actually be expo gain exposure to that knowledge that otherwise they may simply not decide to, to explore. So I absolutely do see plenty of value in this and plenty of good reasons why you may decide to do it. So now let's just quickly have a look at an article about cybercrime and its impact on men mental health, which uh, I did turn into a podcast using this tool. But before we continue, remember that if you're struggling with any aspect of your studies, including but not limited to writing your dissertation or thesis, planning or conducting your research study or analyzing your data, feel free to reach out for a variety of services that I offer, which aim to help you get to that finish line. Hey everyone, ready to dive into a topic that's been on everyone's mind lately? Cybercrime. It's definitely something that's been feeling, well, Kind of uneasy, especially with how much of our lives are online now. Absolutely. It's almost like there's this weird shift, right? Like the internet used to be convenient, but now it's like, oh, wait, are we vulnerable? It's like our digital lives took on a life of their own. For sure. Remember the early pandemic days? It wasn't all sourdough and Zoom calls. It felt like everything went virtual overnight. And while we were all figuring out how to bake bread and like have meetings in our pajamas, cybercrime was having a field day. And that leads us to today's deep dive. We're looking at this research paper from Current Psychiatry Reports, and it's all about the psychology behind cybercrime. Not just, you know, having a strong password, but like the human element. What are your thoughts on that connection? It's a big one. We get so caught up with all the tech stuff, the defenses against cybercrime, that we kind of forget the most unpredictable factor, us. 
our online habits, our personalities, even our mental health, they all play a role in how susceptible we are. Anyway, you do get the idea. I won't be playing the whole thing, but hopefully you see how interesting it is to turn this kind of a language into a completely different format. So this is it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and learned something new. Do let me know in the comments what you think about it. Do let me know about any other tools that you're using. I'm really interested in hearing about these tools, reviewing them and helping you choose the best tools for you and your academic journey.